Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for God's Love Dinosaurs. This is the newest release from Pandasaurus Games. It plays two to five players in about 45 minutes, designed by Casper Lapp. Uh, we are going to be playing it today and excited. <laughs> yes, this is a game about building your ecosystem, trying to expand prey, feeding your predators, and eventually feeding your dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And so for all of you out there who enjoy abstract strategy games, this is what. So we're going to go ahead and play it today, but before we get started, we would like to kindly please ask that you turn on your Klingon subtitles just in case we make any rules mistakes. And if you enjoy content like this and would like to see more, please consider subscribing. And with that, we're gonna get started. So if you would please direct your attention to this end of the table, we are all set up here for our two player game of God's Love Dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. We each have our starting hex tiles, which represents our starting ecosystem. And on our ecosystem, we already have some animals. We have a rat, a rabbit, and a frog, as well as our starting dinosaur in the middle right there. In the middle of the table, we have our board. And this board is going to hold all of the double hex tiles that we're going to be using to grow our ecosystem. We also have some bowls full of animals, as well as the volcano token. Mm -hmm. So in this game, we are, like I mentioned, expanding our ecosystem. But the true object of the game is to feed our dinosaurs. But the only way we can do that is by feeding our dinosaurs predators that will only stay alive if we have prey. So it's a whole big uh, circle of life here. But at the end of the game, the only thing that you really truly score points for are the dinosaurs and the dinosaur eggs. Yes. It is quite abstract. <laughs> Everything else is a means to an end to get yes, to those eggs and exactly. dinosaurs. Yeah. Turn structure and gameplay is actually quite simple. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the teach. And right after that, we'll go into the playthrough. But in case you'd like to skip any of that, we do have timestamps down below so that you can jump around. And so the game is played over several rounds. It's not a set number of rounds. There is an end game trigger, which is when these tiles uh, completely get exhausted back here. But what happens is on your turn, you're going to take one of these hex tiles from the board. It doesn't matter where. And you're going to add it to your ecosystem. So say I were to take this tile right here, I can literally add it to any part of my ecosystem around the, the edge, as long as it's attached to at least one hex. So I could do that. doesn't matter if the, the terrain matches or anything. Mm -hmm. But for this, I might want to do something like this, just for convenience. And so when you take a tile, if it has a, an animal showing on it, then you get to take that animal from the supply and place it on that hex space where it's showing. So in my case, I took a frog. And then if a column is depleted by you taking that hex tile, then the animal that's at the very bottom of the column is going to activate. In this example, I did not deplete it, so it would not activate. It would go straight to Naveen's turn after this. Sure. Let's say it was my turn. I took this one right here. That does not have an animal. Does not on have it. an animal, but let's just say I took it and placed it. Then we would activate. Now the rats activate. So at the very bottom here are five circles with animals on them. There are frogs, rabbits, rats, and then the tigers and eagles. And so once the whole column gets depleted you will activate that type of animal. The animals are divided into two different types. There are prey, which is there's this kind of like a dividing line right here. So everything to the left of that line, these are all considered prey. Mm -hmm. And then everything to the right, which is just the tigers and the eagles, are considered predators. And so when these animals activate, the prey behave differently from the predators. Right. Yep. So the rats are a type of prey. All three of these act pretty much similar. They just expand. And so for each token that you have in your ecosystem of the type of animal that's activating, you get to expand to an adjacent hex of its favorite type. Of its favorite terrain type. Terrain type, exactly. And so rats like the forest. That's why the forest tiles are gonna have the rats on them. And so if we were to activate the rats now, then I would just take one token from the supply and put it in an adjacent hex as long as it's of an appropriate terrain type. And unoccupied. And unoccupied, exactly, because you can only have one token per hex in this game, unless you're going to be eating, which we'll discuss later. And so that is one token per rat token that you already have in your ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So if, I, if it were to look like this, I wouldn't spread out into all three of those hexes. It's just one for one. Right. Essentially. And you get to choose which one. And yeah, you get to choose which one. If you are unable to expand or you don't want to, then you don't. It's not, it's not, never mandatory. And so that's actually how all three of these animals work when they activate. The rabbits like the plain territory and the frogs like the lakes. There is also a wild type of territory, which is the desert and looks like this, this kind of orange type. Any of the prey can, can uh, expand onto that tile as long as it's unoccupied. Mm -hmm. When the predators activate, which is the tigers and the eagles, they will eat prey. And so these two actually activate a little bit differently. The tiger, so say if I were to take this tile 
and uh, maybe place it here, I would take a tiger from the supply because that's what's showing on that tile. They don't care about terrain type, so you're going to see the symbols on different types of terrain. And so say this gets depleted and we activate the tigers. Tigers move up to two spaces and they can change direction. And so the thing about predators is they must move and land on a space that contains a prey. It doesn't matter which kind of prey, all three are treated the same, but they must at least end their movement on a prey to eat it or else they'll starve mm -hmm. and you will lose the tiger. So because my tiger can move up to two hexes, I can move here and then say here, the space that I land on, the prey will get eaten, go back to the supply. If I bypassed any other prey along the way, like I said, doesn't matter the type, then that prey also gets eaten and it gets replaced by another tiger. This is how I expand my predators mm -hmm. by eating prey. If there was no rat here all along and I just moved my tiger from here to here, eating this prey, then it does not spawn another tiger, it just stays alive. Mm -hmm. And finally, the eagles. So the eagles are interesting. Let me just use this as an example. If I had an eagle right here, and say I had another rabbit here. Eagles can move up to three spaces straight. Mm -hmm. So they cannot change direction like the tiger can, but they can move more spaces. And so if I were to activate the eagles because that tile gets taken, then the eagle can go all the way down this way. Same thing, must land on a space with, a, with prey or else it will also starve. And any other prey that it bypasses in that straight line also get eaten and turn into more eagles, right. similar to the tigers. And it's also important to know that predators cannot bypass other predators along the way. They can't hop over anyone, basically. They can only uh, bypass empty terrain and prey. Mm -hmm. But if they bypass prey, they're going to eat them, right. for sure. Lastly, if the column that activated, so say this was the column, the original rat column activated, and the dinosaur token happened to be at the very bottom of that column, then the dinosaurs will activate last. And so the way that that works is the very first thing that happens is we have this nest of eggs and there are three of them to start the game. If ever the middle mountain hex here where your starting dinosaur starts on, if this happens to be empty because maybe in a previous activation you move the dinosaur out, then you can first decide if you want to hatch a new dinosaur by spending one of these eggs and taking a dinosaur and kind of uh, hatching it in that middle uh, tile right there. Then afterwards, all of your dinosaurs activate. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing, your dinosaurs must eat or else they will starve. This time, they are allowed to eat either predator or prey. It doesn't matter. Either of those things will allow the dinosaur to survive. So dinosaurs can move up to five spaces and they can move in any direction. But the golden rule here is they have to end their movement on a mountain hex. It does not have to be this middle mountain hex that it starts on because there are going to be opportunities in the future to get other hex tiles that have more mountains on them, mm -hmm. but it must end on a mountain hex. So if I had just this one dinosaur and I wanted to activate this dinosaur, then I can go one, two, three, four, because I don't have to do the full mm -hmm. five movements. If you have up to five movements. Up to five, exactly. And I would eat all three of these predators. Now for every predator that a dinosaur eats, it lays an egg, and that is how you score points in this game. Mm -hmm. So eating those three predators would get me three eggs. Three eggs, yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To place in my nest. And those are three points for the end of the game. Those are also additional eggs if I want to hatch more dinosaurs in the future. Right. Dinosaurs can also eat prey. So if my ecosystem looked like this, I could just activate this dinosaur and go one, two, eating the frog, but it wouldn't get me any eggs. It's just a way to keep the dinosaur alive. Mere survival. Yeah, yeah, survival, exactly. And by the way, when we're saying that the column activates, it activates for all players, mm -hmm. regardless of whose turn that is, whether or not you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Once everybody is done activating their dinosaurs, then this token is going to move forward to the next column. If ever it's in the eagles, then it's going to move back to the frogs. And then this is the one and only time that you refill all of the empty columns. And so if we had just finished activating the dinosaurs and the board looked like this, we would only refill these three columns here. This area here would remain with just one, one double hex tile. And that's pretty much it. We continue playing like this until we are unable to refill the board with the hex tiles in the supply. And once that happens and the game ends immediately, we count our scores by just counting our eggs. It's one point per egg and one point per dinosaur that you still have in your ecosystem. Whoever has the most points wins. Yep. So it's, it's fairly straightforward, fairly simple, but uh, a kind of interesting to maneuver. Right? It is, yeah, there's some abstract stuff, so yeah. we're gonna have to figure it out. So we are going to do a little bit of cleanup and reset up, 
and then we're gonna get into the playthrough. Okay, so we reset the board. We are ready to play. We just gotta figure out who's gonna go first. Oh yeah, but before we do, we forgot to mention the volcano token. Mm. So there is a volcano token. It just goes to the person, whoever caused the activation to happen, because uh, sometimes you can kind of get lost. Yeah, it helps keep track. Yeah. And also we have these golden eggs, and the golden yeah. eggs, if you ever see them in the playthrough, they're worth five points. Uh, the only thing that they do is sometimes you kind of have like a ton of eggs in your nest, so you just want to kind of trade them out. Yeah, trade them out. And yep. that's pretty much it. Yeah. No All right. special power. Yep. Ready? Ready? Yep. Mm, wow. All right. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that information, but uh, I guess I will go first. Oh, my animals. Oh, yeah. My rat. Where's my rat? My rat? Okay. Now we're all set up. All right. So we do have three starting eggs in our nest and these three uh, starting prey, one of each starting prey. Yep. Everything's identical. Yep. Okay, so for my first turn, I'm going to take this tile right here. Okay. This is a double forest tile, which I'm going to place right there, I suppose. And it's going to give me a rat. So I'm going to go ahead and take the a rat from the supply, place okay. it right there where the circle is. Um, and then it's going to go to Naveen because the column is still has still has a tile in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to take this one, which is a double water terrain, and I'm going to put it. I'll put it here. All right. So that gets you a frog, frog. right Thank there. You. Thank you. And then it goes back to me. I'm going to take this tile. It's another double forest tile. I'm going to put it right here, and it's going to get me an eagle. So. Eagle time. Yes, that is eagle time, right okay. there. Okay, I think I'm going to take this one right over here, which is a plains, and I'll get a ra uh, rabbit, please. All right, so there you go. Right there. Perfect. And now back to me, and I think I'm going to go ahead and take this tile. So this has a forest, a mountain hex, and so I'm going to kind of place it just like that. There you go. And that gets me a rat. And because I took the last tile in this column, the rats are going to activate. So I take the volcano token just to know that I signaled it. And typically you can do this simultaneously if everybody kind of knows how to play. But because we're showing this to you today, we're going to do it in turn order. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my rats first. I have three rats in my ecosystem and each rat is next to a space that it can expand into. So I'm going to take three rats from the supply and place them. This rat is going to expand into this hex this one into this hex, and then this last one is gonna go right there. Nice. And now Naveen. I get one just going in there, so yep. it's not as lucrative as yours, but. One rat right there. Nevertheless, okay. Awesome. And that's it, nothing else happens because it is not in a column where the dinosaur token is. So I put the volcano back and it's your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one right over here and I will place it right there. So this is gonna be giving me a tiger. Mm-hmm. And now, because this column is empty, the tigers are going to activate. I'm the only right. one that has the tigers, so I will activate it and go one, two. So we're going to eat these two prey. Okay. Can you take those, please? Yes. And then uh, the tiger is going to then fill in this spot. So it started here, ate up this one, ended up here, so then we now have two tigers. Uh, oh, you were supposed to take this. And I actually don't have any tigers in my ecosystem, so nothing happens that's, for me. That's that, yeah. All right, well... I am, oops, I broke the volcano. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is that? Does that mean the whole world kind of comes to an end? All right, so I think I'm going to take this tile. Okay. It is the last tile in the frog. So I'm going to activate the frogs and take that. But first I must place this. This is a mountain uh, range as well as the wild hex. So I'm going to place it right there just to give me some options. And then we are going to activate the frogs. So I only have one frog here, but it does have a valid space to expand into. So I will expand my frog right there. Okay. And then... I have these two frogs here and they're gonna expand one and one. Nice, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. And now that we're done activating the frogs, we are going to activate the dinosaurs for the first time. Mm -hmm. So first thing that happens is if our middle nests were free, we could hatch an egg, but that is not true for not either of us. Yep. So now we must feed our dinosaurs. Um, mm. <laughs> this you, is tricky. You caused this and now you're gonna have to potentially kill the frog that you just activated. I have regrets. Okay. I do. Okay. But, um... Or you can let your dinosaur starve. No, I'm not gonna <laughs> let my dinosaur starve. I'm going to eat this frog and go back. So I'm eating this poor frog just so that my dinosaur stays alive. Really? Naveen, you must uh, activate. It looks like you're gonna get points 
for this. I did not play this well. <laughs> Uh, I, I, right. I will actually only, even though I have access to one, two, I'm only going to take out one of these. One and then back for one. So I will get one egg to yes. go as there. So now I have four eggs. Nice. Uh, taking the lead. Mm -hmm. I, I do not get an egg because what I ate was a prey animal. So that is how that works. So that goes back. We're going to move our dinosaur token to the next column, and now we are going to refill all of the empty columns. So this one, this one, and this one. Yep, exactly. So let's do these two. Okay, now we're into the B stack because these are, uh, all of the tiles are um, are ordered in alphabetical stacks. Mm -hmm. Like there's some that are lab labeled A, B, C, and D. So that's that. And now back to you. Very nice. So I think I will take this one over here. So I need to get nice. an eagle on the board, and I like the way this is lined up over here. Very good. So I will play this one here and take an eagle and get my eagle right there. Okay. All right. I know I have a pretty gigantic forest zone, but I think I'm going to take another forest. Another one, huh? Heck, so I'm going to go with this one. Okay. I need some tigers. Gets you a tiger. Yeah, it does get me a tiger. I'm place that right there. Thank you. Beautiful tiger. Tiger goes right there. All right, back to you. Back to me, huh? So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to activate these eagles. I'm going to take this one. Okay. And let's place this guy, uh, this is where it gets a little confusing. Let's place it here. All right, so you get a frog. Frog, yep, on there. There you go. Okay, and then because I'm the one that cleared out the column, I take the volcano, I'm activating the eagles, and the eagles move in a straight line. One, two, three. Killing all these frogs, <laughs> and then hatching two eagle behind it. Your so, eagle, eagle offspring. Eagles have landed. All right, your turn. I will do the same. So my eagle, unfortunately, is, is going to eat my last frog. That's not really good for me. Okay. But I'm going to go all the way straight this way, eating two rats <laughs> and a frog. Okay. Um, and so I also spawn two eagles right there, please. Two eagles, yep. Yes. Thank you. So one eagle there, one eagle there. All right. Okay, now it's your turn. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and take this tile. Okay. So this is <laughs> another forest right another there, forest. but we have a rabbit now. Okay. And so... So you will hatch a rabbit. I will hatch a rabbit, that's right. I'm gonna go ahead and place it like this. So I'm gonna have a rabbit right there. And now we're going to activate the tigers. Mm -hmm. So I have one tiger and it can eat uh, up to two spaces in any direction. So we're gonna go one, two, and so it's going to give me one tiger spawn offspring right there. Okay, so this tiger is just going to go for survival and take out one rat, not creating any new ones. Okay, and then now it is your turn. It is my turn, huh? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll take this one right uh, over here. Activating the dinosaur. Yeah, so I think I'm going to activate this dinosaur go, and I'll put it you. right over there. But before that, we hatch a tiger. And we, <laughs> we hatched a tiger. Yeah, hatch a tiger by its tail. And then we uh, activate the rabbits here. Okay. So I get one rabbit. There you go. And you the... can choose which uh, valid adjacent Yeah, so I can go can... here or here. Yes. Uh, I think I want to put it here so that this hungry tiger can do some damage. <laughs> that poor rabbit. Okay. So I have two rabbits here and only one of the favored terrain, but I have a wild terrain type right there, which means I can expand into both. So that's an expand Oh, there. yeah, yeah. This will expand. That, yeah. Here. Nice. Uh, and then now we're going to activate the Tiger dinosaurs. Tiger activation. Okay. So... No, the dinosaurs. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, dinosaur. <laughs> That's Bigger a big beast. tiger, yes. Naveen. <laughs> uh, yeah, on his two feet. Okay, so with dinosaur activation, first thing we can ask ourselves is are we going to hatch an egg? Both of us can't because we're here. So I am going to start eating with this dinosaur. We're going to go one, two, three, four home right there. So one, two, three. These guys go back, and I'll take three eggs. <laughs> so it's there you gonna go. go. So you might one, want to get a golden egg. Yeah, two, three. So I have seven here. Yeah, okay, I can make a golden egg. And yeah. then yourself. And the golden egg you can exchange at any time. Anytime, yeah. Uh, so I also cannot hatch an egg because I need to get this guy off. Uh, so I'm going to activate this dinosaur. We, ah, this is interesting. So much food. There is so much food, but do I want to leave myself completely empty? Is the question. All right. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Nice. So we have left our home territory. We've, we have moved on to a different mountain and we ate four predators along the way. Okay. So I'm going to give you a five if you want to give me a one. Yes, there you go. There we go. Thank you. And here are the um, predators. All right. All right so, so now seven, that we're seven. done, yeah, seven, seven. Now that we're done activating, this guy moves forward to the rats column and we're going to replenish 
these uh, empty yes. columns. Yep. So let's do you got them? these two and these two. Awesome. So now we are full. We've got a full house right here. Mm -hmm. And it is now me. Your turn, yep. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take this, this tile right here. So I'm going to place it right there. That is going to get me an eagle. Okay. Eagle and turn. that's it. Back to you. All right, I'll take this one right here. Which what? Will activate the rabbits in a Already? Second. Yeah, so I'm going to put this there one. Well, let's put this. I got a mountain there, so I kind of want to put it. I guess I can put it like this to give me a little more options in the future. Because you want your mountains kind of spread out so your dinosaurs could end up there. Mm. Okay, so uh, we are activating the rabbits. Um, I didn't get anything to hatch here. And so now the rabbits are going to grow. So I get two. One, two. All right. And they must go into these two areas there. There you go. Thank you. I am full. I only have one valid spot to expand into. So my rabbit will go right there. Okay. Your turn. And so now my turn. I'm going to take this tile nice. right here. So it's going to get me access to a tiger. You need a tiger. Yeah, I do. I think I'm going to go like this. So I get one tiger. Okay, Thank you. There you go. And that's it for me. So back to you. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and take from this tiger pile over here. Oh, the tiger pile. Tiger pile. And okay. do I want to do I want to get something going here? I don't know. I feel <laughs> like we're going to be pushing in this direction here. So it's unfortunate that I can't add the forest to more forest, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna put a rat right over there. Okay. And it's your turn. Um, all right, let's do it. I'm gonna take this frog hex here, mm -hmm. get in the froggy zone, and I get one frog there, and I'm going to activate the tigers. Tigers, yeah. So I have one tiger here. Okay, how's it gonna eat? I'm gonna eat this way, one, two. Okay, Gain So one. Two rabbits that spawns me one tiger so how about you uh i'll do something very similar i'm gonna go one two okay and then same thing here's the two rabbits i get another tiger all right there we go that's it mm -hmm. back to you we are moving along we are moving along our ecosystem uh, is ebbing and flowing <laughs> man i don't i mm. okay i'm gonna take this one i think and i will put this rabbit i'm gonna put it over here actually Interesting. And Here we go. Rabbit, please. Rabbit for you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So back to me. This is looking like a barren wasteland here. Yeah. Um. Let's let's get some frogs, or okay. let's get some frog, and I'll place this right here. That is a forest. Yeah. I guess I'll talk that over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's gonna get me a frog. Nice. A frog. All right. I hate to do it, but what are you doing? Uh, I'll do the eagle. And oh. then you got a nice eagle lined up there, but interesting, interesting yeah. choice. Yeah, and I now regret taking this rabbit and putting it there. But well, I guess this is a wild, so I can do this. I can do this. So Let's I'll you put that right there. Yeah, rabbit. So now I'm oh, activating me. the eagles. Yep. So I'm going to take this eagle and fly at one, two, netting me a plus one eagle. A plus one. Plus one eagle. I like a dinner date. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, and I I activate my eagles. eagles. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well, that one is going to get you a lot, but you're going to have to be able to feed all of them. So, I'm going to eat I'm going to eat that just to survive. Survival. Yep. And then this eagle is going to go all the way straight. 1 2 3. Now I don't have any more rabbits on board. That was probably not the best thing to do. So, those tigers So, I wonder if I should leave just something to nibble on. Yeah, I'm going to leave a You're going to leave one of the rabbits back there. Yeah. Stop the stop the bird a little short. I will. Right there. Okay. I'm gonna leave a rabbit right there. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. All right, so your that pull. was a little scary. Yeah, your pull. So okay. is it dinosaur and rats, or is it frogs with an eagle? It is absolutely dinosaur with rats. Dinosaur rat, okay. Because I need to get some of these rats back in business. So we're doing this, like that, trying to space out my mountains. And that's gonna get me a rat right there. And now we activate the rats. So I have two rats. And they're going to both activate because this rat can expand right into that territory. And this rat can expand, I guess. Let's do it right there. Okay. I get one rat to come over here, please. Oh, yes. And then now we activate the dinosaurs. First thing that happens is we can hatch an egg and now I'm allowed to do it. You are. So I'm spending an egg, which is a point, And I'm exchanging it for the now risky 
dinosaur because if this dinosaur starves then i just lost that point for good mm -hmm. but hopefully, that's not bad it's in a good spot there yeah hopefully, it's, gonna, it's gonna grab some food right now hopefully it won't starve uh, okay. but now i have to activate both so this is gonna go oops one two eating this eagle for one point for one egg okay. and then i'm gonna just You're have gonna this dinosaur house. i'm gonna clean house just wipe it clean i'm going one two three four five so that is two eagles, two tigers. You should have just told me I would have given you a golden egg. I should have. Well, yeah. I didn't want to yeah. give away my plan like too early. <laughs> Are you gonna, okay. The element of suspense is always nice. Thank you. It was out in the open. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was my dinosaur activation. So I cannot hatch an egg, unfortunately, because I'm still on home base. got to get out of there. I'm going to get out of here go. right now. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Interesting. So you now, left a tiger behind. I did leave a tiger behind so that it can feed and grow from this <laughs> one right here. So one, two, three. So I will take another one like that and put two back. So now I have 10. So I'll have to make change if I ever hatch an egg. <laughs> oh, well. We will climb that bridge yes. when we get there. And now this so moves forward, that. and we're going to refill all of these places. These beautiful. So this one does not fill again. Nope. Yep. That is the one spot that does not fill. Yes. Let's do these. This is a one-person job. Let me just tidy up. Yeah. You can be the tidier. I'll tidy up. All right. We're more than halfway through, by the way. Yeah. This is... Yeah, the game ends uh, when you cannot fill in more. Right. So. All right. It is end. you. It is I, huh? Okay, I'm gonna take this one over here. We need to get an eagle. Ooh, interesting, in you're house. activating some frogs. Yes, I'll put that one there. So this first gets me the eagle here. That's what I hatch. Oh, you got a space. I have a little space here. We have a, a warped dimension there. <laughs> uh, okay, so now we are activating the frogs. I have two frogs. So this one is gonna go this way and this one's gonna go that way. Here you go. You. I too have two frogs. Two so I'm gonna expand here and here. All right, because they must be adjacent. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and that's it. So yep. back to me. All right, I will take the only eagle on the board. Yep. So let's do that. That's a good spot. Place that right there, and I get an eagle for that's this spot right here. Thank you. Very, very, very nice. I think we're gonna have to concentrate our game here for the rest of the game. So those okay. rabbits bye are bye. safe and living their life <laughs> uh, on the other side of this mountain over here. So with that being said, on the other side of this mountain, that is a safe over zone. Here, the safe Tell zone. all your friends, rabbits. <laughs> you are safe. I'll take this one right over here though. We need some predators in the house. So I will put this guy right over there. Okay. And I'll take a tiger and put it right over there. All right, I'm gonna take this tile right here. I'm gonna get another tiger going. Tiger, okay. Back into my ecosystem. So where will he feed eventually? I'm gonna place this right there, kind of, kind of in a random spot here, but maybe like this. I just want it to look a little bit prettier. Okay. <laughs> Thank there you. you. Go. There you go. Hmm. 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 I think I want to take. I think I'm gonna take this one right here. I think I'm gonna place it right over here. Okay. So I get a rabbit. You get a rabbit, and you're going to activate, activate the tigers. The tigers. Correct. So, I had a feeling you were going to do that. So yeah, I was like, gotta I knew get you were a tiger. Grab a tiger, and I was like, ah, I don't want to grab another one now. I have to yeah. feed too many. Right. So let's go ahead and activate the two. So we're going to go one, two. Okay. So we get a tiger here. Okay. And then this one is the new tiger, so he's not activated. We'll just keep him away. And then this one's going to go. Ooh, this is optional. So if I hatch here, which is going to happen. <laughs> it's gonna go one, two, three, four. Ooh, okay, I will do that. I'm gonna go one, two. Oh, nice! Wow, that was Shot like that out a there. really violent eating session. Yum. Okay, so that goes out. Okay. And I'm assuming you are gonna. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. I have a tiger, so I'm just gonna go one, two. So bye bye to my rats, but I have hatched another tiger, okay. and now. So I will hatch um a new a dinosaur. dinosaur so okay. i gotta make myself some changes so we got one two three four so right now i have nine eggs total and two dinosaurs out so this one's gonna come here okay all right and then now we will feed so i'm gonna go one two three four nice. so we're gonna get two eggs back from that dinosaur and then this guy is gonna go one two and then hightail it back home three four and then get another two eggs nice and that is me. How about yourself? Um, I'm going to have a dinosaur that eats for survival right there. Okay. So unfortunately, all my rabbits went extinct. Okay. They didn't hear about your friendly area here. <laughs> yeah. So they're goners. They should have came. I know. Yeah. Uh, and so this dinosaur is going to go chomp, one, chomp. two, three, four. Yeah. Oh, or do I want to bring it here? Ooh. 
I can go one, two, three, four, five. That's better. Mm. So I've eaten So that whole two. side is just nothing anymore. Yeah, there's nothing here, so I might as well start moving my dinosaurs down this way. Okay, so let's get a, an egg count here. So I have 13 with two dinosaurs, and you have 13, 13 with two, two dinosaurs. dinosaurs. So we, and you have a better infrastructure. We are neck and neck. I don't know about that. All right, so this is going to slide over, and then now we start filling in. Yep. Okay, I can help this side. That's it. Not too much filled in there. Yeah, we are we are down to our last stack. Last stack. So this is... Okay. Um, it's close. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this tile. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to get another frog on the map. Frog on the map, and you're going to activate the rats. Yes. Which I have right. no rats. I have two rats, but unfortunately two. they're not positioned in a way so you get one rat. that I can... Well, yeah, I can't. Yeah, of all can. the forest tiles, <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I get one rat <laughs> right there. Yeah. The terrain yeah. really doesn't mean anything too much I'm supposed to take this one, yeah. later on. Yeah. So now it's back to you. <laughs> right, back to me. Okay. Well, ah, oh, gosh. All right. I will take this guy over here and put it over there. I know I talked about these safe bunnies over here, but I don't know so much. Wow. I don't know. They're looking... They're looking unsafe. They're looking unsafe now, yeah. Um, hmm. So you took the only tiger that was I, left there. I did, yeah. On purpose, I'm thinking. Also true. Okay, I'm going to take this rabbit tile. Let's get some more rabbits on the map. More rabbits. I'm doing this. Okay. It's going to go right here. All right, back to you. Okay, I'll take this guy right over here, and I'm just going to willy-nilly put it right over here. Okay. And I get an eagle. Just trying to line up some food. Very good. Ugh. Now anything I take is going to activate. Okay, I'm going to take this tile. Okay. So it's going to get me a rat. Uh, it's, got to be, it's got a mountain right there. Mm. So maybe I'll go like this. Okay, one rat. One rat right there. Activating and the rabbits. And it's going to activate the rabbits. So I have one rabbit, and I'm going to just try to expand a little bit. Do you? Oh, you have some rabbits. Yeah, I have regrets about putting this here. I should have put it here, but I made a boo boo. That's okay. So you can you take three rabbits. I do. And unless you, would you like to activate all three, expand all oh, three? Oh yeah, yeah, might as okay, well, right? There you go. Yeah, why not? It's up to you. Yes, I will do. Let's do one. Okay. Two. It has to be there. Well, I have this spot right there, technically. Yeah, you, you actually can't expand it. You already expanded that. That's right, yeah. So exactly. you have yeah. to. It yeah. has to be that way, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then let's just put this guy over here. This this is... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, fine. The, All right. the rabbit decision. I know. Well, see, I wish I had this here so this eagle can go flying that well, way. Well, alas. I, I was not paying attention. <laughs> All right, it's your turn. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, interesting. Let's get some... You get a rat. rat. Thank you. And you are solo activating. Oops. So, oh no, my, my tiger. No, that's your dino. My dino. <laughs> you, my... All of the animals are just like... I know, they're just caught in my head. So when I go, I'll go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's go one, two. So we're going to take out these two wabbits. And I'm going to put this Hunt one. Wabbits. Hunt and wabbits. And that's going to go right there. Very good. That's me. Okay, you have two choices. Would you like to activate the dinosaur or postpone that? I'm gonna activate the dinosaur. Okay. I'm gonna take this, yep. place it right here. Uh, this seems so far away. So maybe I will place it here. Even though the water zone is not next to the other water zones, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna leave it there. So it's gonna get me a rat. Okay. And I'm gonna take this because it's gonna activate the eagle. Sure. I have one eagle. It's going to go all the way straight here for three spaces. One, two, three. It's gonna eat two frogs and a rat. and and produce two offspring. Yes. Okay. I have two me. eagles, so I'm gonna eagles. go just move in and move in. So we're just gonna get a little closer. Okay, so we're just keeping the eagles alive. Keeping them alive and moving them in closer to my dinosaur. And now we activate the dinosaurs. So I'm not gonna hatch one, obviously. I'm right here in the middle nest, but I must now move these dinosaurs in a way that makes sense. So, gosh, <laughs> I did not plan my route properly. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm gonna eat this one, two, so it just, staying alive and then this one I think I'll go one two three four five so I really just ate two eagles and a frog so that's two eggs two eggs please can I give you a oh I'll give you two eggs yeah. thank you okay and then you 
Uh, yeah, so I have uh, some choices here. So I don't think I can I can do like a shuttle run. I, I think it's one, two, three, four, five. I need to get back to there, so that's not possible. Mm. Uh, I think I'm gonna go. Let's let's hatch first, okay? So I will hatch. Oh, okay. So we're gonna get a dino here. Well, oh, gosh. Okay, yes, let's hatch. Okay, okay, so then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So it paid for itself. So if it dies, it dies. <laughs> um, and then this one right here, we got one, one. So we get another one. And then this guy is gonna go north. One, two, three, four. He'll hang out there. And I get two eggs. So I'm gonna take this and give back three. Does that make sense? Yep. Wow. So you're I have rolling 16 eggs. Sixteen to your fifteen. 15. Okay. Three dinos. Well, you you technically have nineteen points. Nineteen points. It's sixteen plus the three dinosaurs on his board. Right, I have. Right. Uh, 15 plus 2, so 17, 17. points. So, so you being, activated that, right? I did. Okay, so then... This is going to move here. back to the frogs, and we're going to replenish. Let's Ooh, see if we even... I think there's enough tiles. Is this the, is this the end? This is close. Which this means is that... close. Oh, no. We're making it. We've survived. Okay. We survived another dinosaur activation. Okay. There are only a few left. I think there's, th there's three. Yeah. So we can't, can't really go much... Not too much crazier. Yeah. Well, I see this being the only tiger, and I'm going to take it. Catch a tiger. There we go. We're going to do that, and I'm encroaching on the board, but that'll work. Okay. You stinker, Naveen. <laughs> There's eagles. All right, I'll take an eagle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll take yeah, the I don't eagle, yeah. I guess. Okay. Um, and I think I will put it right there. So I get one eagle, you thank you. And it's going to activate the rats. Yes. So I have three rats, and they're all going to be able to expand. So I'm going to expand this one into here, this one into here, and this one into yeah. here. And I get just one rat that must go there. There you go. Okay. And now it's your turn. Me, huh? Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's no more predators. No, <laughs> there's no more predators. No more predators. So... And there's three tiles. So if, if you cannot refill, Mm -hmm. Then it ends. Then so it if ends. I take this, it's over. That's gonna end the game. Yes. I'll take it. Okay, so we're gonna take Maybe that. Maybe math it. I did math. And then let's just put this guy right over here so this guy can feed. Uh, okay, so now we are gonna activate the frogs. So... The volcano? Uh, yeah. So I get two frogs. One, two. Okay, three. No problem. I get one frog because this frog has nowhere to expand to. One, two. So I'll just go right like that. Okay. I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Yeah, and then... Um, Although I don't think I'm going to be able to get any more points. I think that's it. Yeah, so now the dinosaurs are going to activate. So I'm going to go one, two... Well, let's see, how do I want to do this? Okay, so I am going to go one, two, back home, one, two, three, four, back home. And then because I cannot make the journey there and back, so that's one, two, three, four, five, I'd stop short. We're just going to go one, two and back home and just kind of survive on the scraps. Yes. All right. And Monique? Um, I have to do the same. Similar situation? Yeah, I didn't position my mountains in a way that was okay. Yeah, the mountains. So yeah. I was going to go one, two, and three, four, just to keep those two dinosaurs alive, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because these two are too far out of reach. Right. Okay. So, that so um, we have to now refill. So this would move down. Yeah. And technically, we have to refill, but we cannot refill completely one two three the yeah. game is over the game ends yeah the game has ended and naveen wins because i wasn't yeah. able to get any more points so, and he was already in the lead 5 10 15 16 17 18 19 i have 5 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 15, 17, 17 so 17 to 19. 17, 19 yeah. you have taken control of the universe i don't know is that the thing i am one of the two <laughs> gods who played this your dinosaurs game. have survived into modern age they did three of them there's three gonna of them. be infighting now Three is enough, I think, to start your own Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, Good we'll job. Play. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we just finished our two-player playthrough of Gods Love Dinosaurs. I just edged it out, 19 <laughs> to 17. Yeah, um, you did. Well played. Thank you. you. Did. Yeah, so, <laughs> so like always, let's start with theme. What do you think? Uh, I actually really love this theme. That is what initially drew me to this game, although I thought it was God Loves Dinosaurs for a very long time. Yeah. And even still now, whenever I try to say the title, I still am confused. Plural gods, singular love. Yes. 
Spoiled dinosaurs. Gods love dinosaurs. That's it, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really love the theme. I think it's interesting uh, how you're building up an ecosystem, but the only thing really that matters in the end is feeding the dinosaurs. Yeah, because, feeding and survival of dinosaurs. Right. Yeah. The first time we played, we, <laughs> I think one of us was expanding one of the prey really quickly, and the other person was like, hey, how did you get all that prey there? Yeah, yeah. But then we realized it doesn't really matter. You can have as much prey as you want. But if you're not eating predators with these dinosaurs, you're not going to get any points. Right, exactly. So the theme is very, very interesting to me. It felt pretty unique. Yeah, the theme ties in well with the mechanisms. Um, so you have the prey who proliferate real fast mm -hmm. and quickly. Yeah. And then you have the predators who, in order to survive, need to eat them. And right. then everybody knows dinosaurs eat tigers. So... <laughs> Yeah, definitely yeah. very thematic there but um you know that that's kind of that cycle of the food chain mm -hmm. um and that's exactly what you're doing here so there's a lot of you know stepping in stepping out and mm -hmm. trying and trying to figure out uh, the best combination of how much prey to have versus how much predators to have but make sure you position your dinosaurs properly so right pretty thematic yeah. so theme wise i love it i love the theme uh in terms of components i'm pretty happy with them the yeah. artwork is is beautiful it's very colorful they did a really good job, I think, with illustrating all of the different types of terrain. There are cute little animal pieces. I mean, these are tiny. So if you have like kids at home, this is like definitely choking hazard tiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I like them. They're all individual, <laughs> unique. Yeah, the Naveen, tigers are silly. Naveen's like, what's up with the eagle? I don't have a problem with the eagle. It looks the, like it's landing, okay? It, it yeah. <laughs> I've never seen an eagle meeple before, so this yeah. is, you can see it. It's silly, but it, you know, it is what it is. It it's works. Like, it's cute. They have rat meeples. Rat I've never meeples. seen a rat meeple before. Yeah. Uh, and this is an interesting choice of animal, but I guess eagles, you gotta eat, have the rats, I suppose. Um, yeah. But and anyway, dogs, components wise, everything, everything is good. Mm -hmm. Player count and replayability. So this review, we should put a little asterisk on it because we are, are doing it all based off of the two player perspective. Yeah. We have not been able to try this at higher player counts and it plays up to five. So that might be a big deal, mm -hmm. right? Basically take this with a grain of salt. I don't know what player count it was intended to play at, but I'm pretty sure it feels very different at higher player counts because of the way that the board activates. You know, in a yeah. two player game, you can see two moves ahead. Like mm -hmm. I can kind of anticipate like, oh, Naveen has a tiger on his board that he, he I know he's gonna want to, to feed. Activate, yeah. So there's only one tile left there. He's gonna make that tiger activate. I should try to get another tiger Pick myself, tiger. Yeah. knowing he's gonna activate that tiger. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of that kind of uh, strategic play in a two player game. In like, say a four player game, if you're waiting like four turns before your next turn, Somebody might activate something that you weren't ready for totally, yeah. or columns that were completely filled might get completely depleted and you had no idea that that was coming by the time it gets to your turn. Yeah, it seems so, like you have a little bit less control. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you yeah. have a lot less control in higher player counts. I will say in a four but, and five player game, uh, the columns have now space for three tiles. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering yeah. how it's going to be in a three player game. Because in a three player game, the columns still only have space for two tiles. So you can really be stuck. You know, if you're that third person and someone just goes boom, boom. That's it. There's more tiles altogether, though, in these uh, in higher player counts. Mm -hmm. um, some of the tiles we had to remove because it says three plus four plus and five plus. Right. Uh, so the game length, I'm not exactly sure how that would play out at like a five player game. Yeah, I, I would imagine that it scales, but I feel like that might be the only main difference in terms of player count, because outside of that, there really isn't any other player interaction besides the maneuvering of the board, which right. is still a large part of the game. So uh, just keep that in mind when you're you know, debating how many players to play this with. Uh, in terms of replayability, it's gonna come down to the way that you build out your ecosystem. That is where the, you know, the puzzle of coming back to the game and trying to, trying to rebuild your strategy. Get better at it. Yeah, yeah. get better. And that, there's nothing that's variable during setup. It's always the same kind of setup, the same tiles that you place and in the same order also. Mm -hmm. um, because they're in four different stacks of letters. So you just shuffle the ones that are in each letter right. stack. But uh, in terms of building out your ecosystem, like I have never played a game of this where I had this large of a forest space before, right? Mm -hmm. So that kind, of the, that kind of puzzle is what you work on every time you return to the game. So now let's talk about the mechanics of the game. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You just draft one of the tiles from one of the five columns. If it has an animal, you play the animal. Mm -hmm. And then if you happen to activate, you activate. Right. Um, I do like the mechanisms that the prey expand the predators attack the prey, but mm -hmm. you need to position them in a way where your dinosaurs can go then eat those predators and make it to a mountain safely. Yeah, like Naveen said, it is fairly simple. It's very straightforward. This is in the 
medium light. No, this is a light game. Light game, yeah. Um, exactly. But it's fairly abstract. So it's definitely still uh, an abstract strategy game. It's very clever. It's almost reminiscent of a game called Hive to me. I mean, they're, they're still mm -hmm. pretty, pretty, pretty different, different yeah. but like it's in the sense of, of the different types of animals move in a certain way. In oh, this yeah. game, it's just predator and prey. Like the prey expand the exact same way, but the predators move differently because there are different types of animals. It's fun to figure out where you need your animals to expand and where you need to position your predators to come in and take those spots while keeping them close to the dinosaurs. But at the same time, once the dinosaurs activate, they will eat everything. They decimate, yeah. You want to try to accumulate as much points as you can, so they will decimate the predators, and then you're back to square one. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the part of the game that I struggle with a little bit. It's the tempo, the timing. It's, it's a little bit of a slow crawl. Like uh, in a lot of games of this weight that I really enjoy, the fun factor is because I feel like the entire time I'm building. I'm building, 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 yeah. right? Uh -huh. And so in this game, you build, and you feel great when your board is covered with uh, with tokens, but then suddenly the predators come in yeah, or the dinosaurs off. come in and then they're, they're stripped off and you're back to square one. Right, right. Not only that, when you take a tile to add more uh, animal tokens to your board, it's always from the perimeter. Mm -hmm. None of the tiles that are inside your ecosystem will ever respawn again. Right, right. So figuring out how you're going to decimate your ecosystem and then bring animals back to the perimeter to go back into the middle is the puzzle yes but it's hard and still it's... have mountain space at that point yes yeah, yeah yeah so the mechanics are very clever i think this is a clever game um but that part of it is a little bit hard for me and it does kind of take away from the fun factor mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah, figuring out where to position your mountains is huge your dinosaurs need to be able to traverse your ecosystem without having to go back to square one every time right. or else you're going to limit the amount of space that you actually cover yeah yeah so... or you'll only have one dinosaur maybe mm -hmm. two yeah and so you're not only counting on those mountain tiles to come out on the hexes, but then you have to also position them properly in a way that you can foresee all of your prey expanding in this area rather than up in this area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. But the other thing about that is sometimes the activations are not under your control. Yeah. So if the tigers or the, even the eagles, which happen to me a lot, activate a little bit too early, then suddenly I'm cutting off this like area of prey. And now all of my animals are in this area where the dinosaurs aren't. Yeah, yeah. So that is the abstract thinky part of, of like really trying to focus your animals in a zone where you can get the dinosaurs to eat them. Yeah. yeah, it's tough. It is tough, yeah. And not only, but I think the enjoyment of the game is going to be partially dependent on the way that the other players at the table play. Mm -hmm. Because we've played a couple games of this, uh, especially early on where we were activating the column with the dinosaur a yeah, little bit yeah. too often. Our first play. Early on yeah. in the game. And so what happens there is you don't want your dinosaurs to go extinct because they are your points. They're walking points mm -hmm. on your, in your ecosystem. So you always want to keep them alive. But what ends up happening is you end up just never having animals if you're constantly activating the dinosaurs. Yeah, early. I think we were just constantly like plucking off for survival and just going right back to home base and then yeah. nothing was getting done. Right. And so that, that ends up leaving you with like an empty ecosystem, which uh, for some people that may, might be part of the fun because it's part of the challenge of having to rebuild your ecosystem again. But if that happens too often, that might uh, be frustrating. Mm -hmm. And now this is designed by Casper Lapp who is also the designer of Magic Maze. So I really appreciate him as a designer. I really love Magic Maze. And I think this is another uh, really interesting, clever design. It's very different. It's very different from Magic Maze. Yeah, I like when designers do that. Well, they'll mm -hmm. have one whole category of games. So that one's a fully co-op silence game, you know, where nobody yeah. can talk if you know that one. Yes. And this is completely, completely different, uh, completely different genre. So abstract strategy versus, you know, co-op. Uh, what, what would you even call it? Real-time co-op game? That is a real-time co-op game, yeah. Game, yeah. Uh, so it's cool to see uh, another design that, that came out by him. Right. And I mean, despite the, the different points that we just mentioned, I think this is still a very clever design. It feels fresh. Like, I'm playing this game and I'm thinking, like, I need to try to figure this out because I've never played <laughs> yeah. a game like this before. Yeah. So I'm really kind of excited to see what else he comes up with one, next, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So in the end, if you like uh, an abstract strategy game, one where you're constantly maneuvering and trying to outthink your opponent, um, this is yeah, maybe, give this one a try. This is maybe one for you. It's gonna keep you on your toes. Yes. <laughs> and that is God's Love Dinosaurs. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.